Hi, it's Mr. B again. Hayfield Secondary School, Middle School Engineering Teacher, Balsa Glider Continued. This is going to, this little video is going to talk about gluing these wings to the fuselage. Of course, it assumes you've already cut out your wings. If you wanted to do some light sanding to them before you attach them to the fuselage, this would be the time, not after they're assembled. We would use really, really light sandpaper, like a 220 grit sandpaper, and just really gently, gently go over these wings. And about the only thing you really want to do is maybe smooth out the surface of this wing and maybe taper the front edge a little bit to create a little bit of airfoil shape. So um, let me show you that a little bit again. Very light sanding. This balsa wood is very, very thin. It's really a little bit thinner than, than I expected in this kit, but that's okay. You would get 220 grit sandpaper. It says 220. The bigger the number, the finer the sandpaper. This, this is a pretty fine sandpaper. Just need a small little piece. Lightly, do not go crazy with the sanding at all, okay? If you just kind of... Let me put a big piece of white paper there to improve the recording contrast. This black washes everything out. We figured that out a few minutes ago. All right, so here we go. I'm gonna do that. It makes the recording better. So I have a little bit of 220 grit sandpaper. I have my wing. I may, if you rub your hand on it, you'll see it's pretty darn smooth but maybe we can make it a little bit smoother. And I'm very lightly, very lightly, putting almost like no pressure at all. And you can see a very small amount of sawdust coming off of it. Now, if you rub your hand on it, you'll feel it is smoother. Where you've sanded is smoother, where you haven't, it's a little bit rougher. Not a big difference, okay? Not a big difference, but we know how such small adjustments to this glider we've seen and has made a big difference. I'm actually gonna do both sides, again, lightly. You see, I'm only standing maybe for 15, 20, 30 seconds or so, just to kind of smooth it out, improve the, um, or reduce the drag of the surface because smooth surfaces have less drag than rough surfaces. Okay, so that's wing one. And I'm just smoothing off the surface a little bit. Again, very, very little pressure. I know this is very exciting to watch me sand. It won't take very long though. You can see a small amount of, small amount of sawdust on the paper and it is smoother. So it's probably gonna help a little bit, okay? You've done so much work on this project that um, this is not the time to get into a hurry and cut corners, right? That feels pretty good. Did I do this side? I don't remember, do a little more. Again, very, very gently, white sanding. the airflow a little bit. All right. All right, there we go. Now, the leading edge of the wing, in other words, so the plane is flying this way, okay? This is called the leading edge of the wing. Here's the fuselage, right? The leading edge of the wing, if you remember, I'm gonna draw an airfoil design up on the board. The classic airfoil design <clears throat> kind of looks like this stretched out teardrop shape. Now, this is a little bit exaggerated. Now, we cannot get that shape with that super thin balsa wood. Maybe I would draw it darker so you can actually see it. Classic airfoil shape, 
kind of looks like this, like this stretched out teardrop, okay? We can't do that on that skinny little balsa wood. But what we can do is kind of taper the front edge a little bit, taper the back edge a little bit. We're gonna leave the bottom alone. There's just not enough material right there. Now the way we're gonna do that is just by using the sandpaper a little bit. But we've gotta go ahead and make a mark which is gonna be the top of our wings. And so I've laid them down like this and I'm going to take a pencil and I'm just gonna put a little mark here. I just wrote T for top. You can do whatever you want. And when I sand, what I'm going to do, I'm just gonna to try to taper the front edge of this wing a little bit. Just a little bit of an angle. Kind of make the front edge, instead of just a flat cut off piece, because if you look at it really closely, uh, it's kind of hard to see. <laughs> I'm just gonna taper that front edge a little bit. Take that corner off. We call that in carpentry, we call it easing the corner. Again, be very, very careful. This balsa wood will break so easily. And I cannot replace your balsa wood. And if you look at it, you'll see it's rounded off a little bit. Not much. We don't have a lot of material to work with here. And maybe it's even better if we kind of set it down over the edge of the table. Kind of put a little bit of a tapered edge on that front. You know, kind of like a, a knife edge, if you will. It will reduce drag on that leading edge as well. And you're looking, you'll see it's a little bit tapered. Again, you can't do a lot. And we're going to do a little bit for the back to help the air flow off the wing faster. Because that's what makes lift is that the air is flowing over the top of the wing faster than it's flowing underneath of the wing. And, you know, we've talked about drag. There's Newtonian scientists that say it's action-reaction. There are Bernoulli scientists that say it's uh, caused by air velocity, air faster on the top than the bottom. Now I'm holding the sandpaper just at a slight angle. I'm not sanding flat. I'm not sanding straight up and down. I'm holding it at an angle. Kind of imagine you're like trying to put a knife edge on it. And again, you can't do much when your material is only like a sixteenth of an inch thick. You don't have much to work with. That's it. Okay? A little bit tapered in the back, a little bit tapered in the front. Looks a little bit more like an airplane wing. I'm gonna do the same thing to the other one. I'm gonna pause the video while I do that. Okay, I'm back. I, um, I sanded the wings and not sure how well you can see that. But on the front edge, I've tapered it just a little bit with the sandpaper. Maybe you can see that. You'll see it when you do it. Your own. Tapered the front edge, the back edge. I even decided to taper the uh, tip a little bit and kind of smooth off this corner. The bottom edge, I just left flat. I just left it flat. Other than that light sanding I did, that's it. Okay, and I did that to both wings. Now we're going to attach the wing to the fuselage. Your fuselage should be marked based on that pattern when you cut the fuselage out. Remember I said mark where the wing and the tail is going to go? And we've got this handy dandy jig. Yes, I've crowed about this quite a bit. I'm pretty proud of myself for coming up with this idea. And here's what we're going to do. And oh, blocking the camera. Okay, here we go. Now, I put some pieces of tape in here because the jig wasn't holding the fuselage really snug. It kind of wiggled around. But now it's like super snug. Just sets right in there. Here's the one tricky part. All right. And I think I've got a way to make this easier. You need to set each wing and you want it to be halfway. You want it to be right dead center with the fuselage. Line up your marks, line up your wing edges, okay? Again, remember how such small differences affected your plane. Now I did that and I'm making sure that seam where the two wings meet is running right down the center of my fuselage. 
That's one way I thought. Another way I thought might actually make life a little bit easier. Let's put these wings together like that, like we never cut them. Put them together like that. Take one, I think this is actually pretty clever, all right? You take one little piece of tape, and I'm going to span that gap. Just gently, gently put it on there, all right? Following me? I'm putting the wings together, put one little piece of tape. Don't press it on hard. You're just kind of trying to hold these together. Now when I put these on the fuselage, it's a lot easier to line them up where I want them on the fuselage because they, they move in unison, all right? So I've got that lined up. Let's see, you see right over the top. I've got that seam dead center of the fuselage. Now we are using a super glue-like product and you want to use very small amounts of this. It, this dries in about two minutes. So I'm gonna line it all up and I'm just gonna put a little bit of glue down here. I'm not gonna put any on the tape because I'm gonna wanna try to take that tape off. That's it. That very, very small amount, it drops. And yes, I'm gonna be, and you can move it around for a couple of seconds. And I'm gonna be hovering over you when you're using this stuff. And that's it. That is really all I'm gonna put down. Just a few drops, very small amount. And then we wait, not long. I do have a product, if this stuff is taking too long to dry, I have a product we can squirt on it, which will make it dry instantly. And I'm gonna go ahead and demo that in a second. Pause video. All right, I'm back. Uh, this has been sitting here about a minute. It's gonna take a couple minutes to dry. I've even say, seen it take a little longer than that. Let's say you're in a hurry. Um, they do sell this product. I like this super glue. It's a super glue like product because it doesn't set up like in 10 seconds the way regular over the counter super glue does. So you do have time to move things around. So this might even, yeah, see, this is already locked in place pretty good. That's not going to move anywhere. But if we were in a super duper hurry and it was taking longer to dry, other materials take longer. Um, wood dries very quickly because it gets absorbed into the pores of the wood. And uh, that's it. Okay, and I've got a glider now. Woohoo! Almost. But I've got a glider now, and I'm pretty sure those wings are at 15 degrees. Because remember, I drew this thing on SketchUp. I drew this thing on SketchUp. And so that, I am pretty tickled with myself about how well that jig worked. Now, um, this glue is not 100% set up. It actually takes um, it actually takes 30, 40 minutes for it to really, really be set up. What this is for is if you were in a hurry with this kind of glue that it's it's holding, all right, but it's not 100% up, and you need it to set up or cure. That's the word. <laughs> um, you would squirt a little bit of this on here, okay? I'm not going to do it because I'm not in that big all fired or hurry. Um, and it, it smells funny, um, but I am going to um, put this aside, I'll carefully take this tape off, and I actually probably shouldn't be fooling with it yet because the glue is not 100% set up yet. And to get the tape off, I'm just gonna use my little hobby knife to lift up the edge. Be really careful you don't mess up your wood. There we go. And carefully. See, that's why you don't want to press it down hard because you don't want to pull on it and risk pulling the, the wings off the fuselage. And there's that little part there that didn't get glued because the tape was there. This would be a good time to go ahead and put a few drops of glue. And I mean drops. In that little seam there. And that is locked in. All right, and we're just gonna set that aside and we're done with that part. We're not gonna fool with that anymore. We wanna set it aside. Uh, we're gonna set it aside, of course, overnight. You're not gonna work with it anymore.
this class. Um, you want this to set up really well, but hey, that came out really good. Really happy with that. All right. So um, see you in the next video.